Gun fam, what's up? It's the Gun Brother. Thank you for tuning in. So, just weeks after posting this video, uh, there's been a couple of incidents. Now, granted, these were international incidents. My video was specifically about uh, domestic travel, but just want to show you these two occurrences that just happened uh, very recently. Check these out. Tyler Wenrick was on a cruise ship last week celebrating a friend's bachelor party when the ship made a stop in Grand Turk. When Renrick was returning aboard, police say they found bullets in his backpack. The 31-year-old charged with possession of ammunition. Wenrick is just one of five American tourists to recently find themselves in this situation. Bringing ammunition into Turks and Caicos is against the law and carries a minimum 12-year sentence. Ryan and Valerie Watson were arrested earlier this month when their bag was flagged by airport security. Both of their passports confiscated, both charged with possession of ammunition. It's something Michael Grimm learned the hard way. The 26-year-old now back home after an eight-month prison sentence after airport officials found a gun clip in his duffel bag. Don't have a mistake, I had no idea that those were in there. No idea um, how it was there, but it was mine. Um, and it's a bag that I'd frequently use at home for, for hunting, trips, uh, weekend trips, etc. So yeah, I mean, and he even says it, it's a bag that he uses a lot for hunting. And um, like I say in, in this last video that I just did, you have to, on, you got a couple of options. You can try to sterilize your bags before you go. In other words, you're going through them. You got to go through them with a fine tooth comb. In this case, especially now we're talking about foreign travel as far as, you know, waiting for court dates, being stuck out of out of the country. That I mean, that's just that's a different strain than having a problem here in the States. So um, you have to go through those bags with a fine tooth comb. You're you're talking about like one round of ammo that can probably get you in this much trouble in these foreign countries. Uh, but even for general travel, you, I, I, like I said, my solution, it could, it may have seemed extreme when I said it, but I'll say it again. I have separate bags that I use, especially as carry-ons, because typically, except for these foreign countries, typically the prohibited items can be transported in luggage, but they can't be transported. They definitely aren't gonna be allowed in your carry-on. Another big factor, in these cases, it's crazy that TSA missed it on the way out. Um, they uh, this stuff should have been stopped at the checkpoint on the way out, and uh, and like I said, they in America we treat it as a prohibited item. The item is confiscated. Your information is taken down. That instance or incident is recorded in the database somewhere. My own my remedy for this is I have separate bags that I use for my firearm stuff, and then separate bags that I use for travel because I've had instances where I've gone through the bag. I know I went through the bag. I like, went through the bag, I know it's cool. Get the TSA checkpoint, they pull it. Magazine just like wedged up in the corner. I, I have three carry-on bags that I don't touch unless I'm going to the airport. And so no ammo, no no gun parts, no, no parts of anything ever get in those bags. Chime in in the comments if you guys have any other ideas or anything like that. That being said, the Gun Brothers out. I will talk to you guys later. Stay safe. Protect yourselves.